some other shit. I'm rapping on West Beats. I make my What up, y'all? Rich. Welcome back to another West SOS West podcast, man. We uh we're back in the shop. I know y'all seen the other ones. We're switching up our locations, but uh we're back in our home today, man. And we got L O M Rudy in the building. We're very excited to have you. What's the deal, man? I appreciate y'all having yes, me. Sir. Yeah, you already know it, bro. We excited to have you, man. So uh Said this is definitely your first time in Akron, so we no, established that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's my first time. I ain't never Hell been yeah. here before. I only yeah, been to Cleveland. That's what's up, bro. Uh, how you feeling so far? You just got here? Oh yeah, shit. Y'all was my first stop. Yep. I just pulled off, the, pulled off the freeway, man. Y'all came right to y'all. Hell yeah. What uh, we heard you got a little, little something going on, a little after hours event and shit. That's dope. Y- yep. After the uh Crown nightclub tonight. That's yep. where we at tonight. Yeah. So we caught you at the perfect time. I yeah, ain't gonna lie, bro. Time, cause, man. Cause really, we ain't even, we ain't even see that when we decided to uh. Yeah, figure see, out the interview because whoever was writing me they said something about Monday and I'm like why yeah. Monday and I come down exactly. there tomorrow yeah we yeah, ain't we even see that we just already had some crazy shit going on this weekend yeah. so we didn't yeah. know if it was oh, the move okay. but then we saw you around it's like we gotta catch them while yeah. we're here I yeah, swear yeah. and the new you know what I'm saying that uh hey there just dropped so yeah that motherfucker you know, going crazy yeah, yeah, yeah. viral yeah it's going man. crazy yeah that's the uh that's the one, man. I ain't gonna lie, we've been off that shit. Yeah. That shit funny as hell. Yeah, so what right. what brought you to do that? Like, was you was you just listening to it like before, you know what I'm saying? And you was on some singing shit, just the feeling original, it. The original, the the plain white tea song was okay. just stuck in my head. I was yep. listening to it for like three, four days yep. at a time. I'm like, fuck, I can't get this melody out of my head. And I hell just start yeah. playing around. And uh my yeah. engineer, we just was in there recording it, and that shit got the sounding good. Hell yeah, I swear, bro. We we done been just Super here, just, bro. Up, bro. We be we be doing that shit, bro. It's hilarious because yeah. I swear, like we've been doing that shit for years, just hearing old songs and then making funny remix. But yeah. you went and did it, bro. That shit was fire, yeah, bro. Appreciate it, man. That we shit been, came out real hard. Yeah, we've been saying all kind of funny shit, just all <laughs> yeah. different kind of lines all week, bro. I swear that shit. What do you, you think's like the funniest line for you in that song? Like I know you were trying um, to be funny. For sure, so. The funniest one to me, uh. Hey, gotta be the first line, the Camilla one. Yep, yep. <laughs> yeah, gotta be that one for real. Camilla. So who do, is is Camilla? Like, did something inspire that line about her? Or? Uh, no. I did. It, I mean, it's like a fictional person, but like yeah, a real yeah. situation. Mm-hmm. Like, you created yeah, Camilla off definitely. of like all these other experiences. For sure, yeah. definitely. <laughs> yeah, that's fire, bro. I'm, what's, uh, uh, what's What's the problem with Ohio? Why is it so bad to take your girl to Ohio? Man, somebody else asked. Somebody else DM me. Some state troopers. It's trooper. some state really? troopers, ain't it? They're like, "What's your problem with Ohio? What you got against yeah. us?" I'm like, "I don't got nothing against y'all. It's just when I think of Ohio, I just think boring, and it's so it's so close to where we from. Oh, yep. So it's like that's the closest thing exactly. to where nothing is at. Like, exactly. but see the point. Yeah, exactly. I know you saw a hell of farmland, but does like is, does it seem cool around here? Um, Akron seem a little cooler than the rest of Ohio, at least. No, it kind of looks just. <laughs> Same it kind of looks similar to how Cleveland looked to me. Like everything, it's like, like, like it's just a ghost cool, town. See no clubs. Way. I don't see no titty bars. Man. No nothing. Yeah, you might not. He ain't been down Arlington yet. He yeah, ain't yeah. been up that way, man. I swear. Yeah, for real. But no, I know you got some new, uh, a bunch of new traffic from that goddamn song, bro. Yeah, I know you got yeah. new. A I'm glad we caught fans. you, man. I swear, bro. This that shit's so dope. Like I was. I ain't gonna say I was waiting on somebody to do that, bro. But like I said, we've been sitting around fucking around forever. So for you to pick that up is super dope, bro. That's yeah. just dope as hell. Good looking. Hell yeah. With like, uh, I I'm sure like you've been sitting on that for a minute. No, I just I had I just made that like a two or three days before I um put the snip. No, I made I put the snippet out the same day I made the song, mm-hmm. and then it was going oh, so shit. crazy. I'm like, oh, I need to put this shit out. Hell right yeah. Now. How long ago was that though? Because I only saw it, the video. I feel like has been blowing up, and that's where where I saw it. Yeah, that was. Oh, you saw the actual music video? Yeah, that just came out. So oh, it's yeah. been out before that, or um, no, just the snippets was out. Yeah, yeah. Not the actual full song. Mm-hmm. The video was out before the actual audio was out. Yeah. But the snippet been out. The snippets is the ones that was going viral. Mm-hmm. But you 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 didn't catch them. That shit was going crazy. Oh, yeah. I can only imagine, man. That sh- that shit's funny as hell. Yeah, <laughs> I, I ain't gonna lie. I had that to shit. Ask you about the Ohio line because yeah. yeah, obviously we we try to have a lot of fun out here, and <laughs> yeah. we try to make it seem all right. But... See, it's kind of different from y'all because y'all are from here, so it's exactly fr- right. Y'all can make it fun. Like right. somebody from out of town, like I don't feel like there's no like tourist attraction exactly that right, make people yeah. want to go hell yeah let's go there yeah exactly yeah. like unless you said to make some like you said except something. cedar point or something like yeah, that's unless really they're it. trying to make some money and go do some whole other shit yep, that, that's exactly. why people come to yep, ohio exactly yeah, and cedar point's not even here you know right yeah, i ain't gonna lie that's why i thought i ain't gonna lie i thought you was talking about because the state patrol or something no they be high, you know they be saying that shit too they be like yeah. don't go to ohio they everywhere over there but for i sure. thought that's what you was i heard that a lot hell yeah 
But no, I'll be seeing you do them uh them little motivational YouTube shorts, bro. That shit's dope, bro. I really Yeah, fuck I gotta with that get shit. back on it, man. I kinda yeah. fell off. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I fuck with that shit. Yeah, I kinda bro. fell off, man. I gotta I, that, that shit help with with my engagement a lot. I gotta get I back swear. on that. Yeah, that shit is dope, bro. I seen just talk about everything on there, bro. Like like I said, just being able to get comfortable after recovering from getting shot and all that. Like right. I don't know. I just feel like I feel like that takes a lot, bro, to get on there and really speak. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, after going sure. through some shit like that. It's dope. Yeah, a lot of people can't a lot of people be kind of like shield that side from everybody. Exactly. But I just feel like, I mean, with what I got going on, I just feel like I need to shed a light on it and, you know, and speak on it. Yeah, that's it, something to talk about. It helped bro. me create too. Exactly. That's a real story, bro. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I feel like everybody gotta hear about that shit. Right, for sure. Yeah. Do you think uh I saw like with that that uh the Hey There music video, you uh-huh. went with like the the country aesthetic and yeah. like the farm and all that? Like, yeah. Did you like did did you go ahead and plan to do a music video or do you I see you shoot a lot of music videos? Yeah, so, I like, do. I didn't plan it until <laughs> it started like going as crazy as it was and my videographer just helped me with the treatment and he got all got me all the cowboy shit. And we just was winging it for real. So you don't be fucking around on the farm for real? No, nah, hell no. Nah. <laughs> that was <laughs> yeah. That was that was probably my second time know, ever on the farm for real. Or anything, that's hell no. Nah, yeah. I wish. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like that's like a new thing that's happening. Not a new thing, but it's really popping right now. I feel, I'm sure you've seen that girl that had the the farm video, and uh, I'm trying to think of the artist, but and then I feel like there's just other people who are adopting that cowboy. Farmer. Yeah, I just seen uh Fredo Bang do some cowboy shit like that. Hell yeah, yeah, it's dope. Yeah, yeah, it'd be dope switching this shit up. You definitely got a diverse, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you gotta, for sure. Exactly, like you definitely be doing all kind of different shit. I see you got a lot of uh, female features and stuff. Yeah, I feel like yeah. everybody like different music. When I just go in there, exactly. I just create what I feel at the time. I don't kind of like mm-hmm. cater to a certain crowd or nothing. Exactly. I just make whatever I feel for real and yeah. just go from there. I really like too. I saw one of your music videos off that. Uh, that God's favorite album. Uh-huh. It was kind of like a love song. It was like a whole different vibe. It was oh song, yeah, like you probably uh, crushing. I think. No. It was like the proposal one, or like you gave her a ring or something in the music. Video. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. That's what a uh, Britney. Britney is in that video. Yeah. That's fucking. Uh, damn, what is that? One and only is that. That's one and only. Yeah, I just thought that was like it was just a different. I was like, oh, this dude definitely hits. Yeah. Him. Bunch of different tones. Yeah, I be trying to do a bunch of different shit. Yep, got to, for sure. Yeah, I see you, uh, you got four kids, you said? Yep, four yep. kids, yep. yep. What's the oldest? My oldest is 10. Cassie, yeah. that's my daughter. She's about to be 11 in November. Hell yeah. What, uh, so how was that? How was, uh, I seen you talking about, like, a lot of stuff, like, when you went to jail, that was, like, you, you ain't use the boss around, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So you you do your thing. So when you went to jail, everything kind of stopped. You know right. what I'm saying? So how was that? Like just dealing with all that. I mean, I don't know. I feel like I feel like like you said, when you in a certain position and you go to jail, it just everything kind of slow down. And mm-hmm. I seen you like big into real estate, and you said you you like had ten houses and stuff. So I can yeah. only imagine just you know what I'm saying going through all that, having all that stuff, and not being able to keep up. So how was that? Um, that shit was like real hectic, man. It was, man. uh, it it didn't go good. It's it's just hard. You can't control nothing exactly. from in there. Like it's hard, and you can't really depend on other people, cause only you gonna treat your stuff how you treat it. So you exactly. know, a lot of my shit got fucked up while I was gone, and yeah. it just it's really what pushed me to to really take the rap stuff serious when I got out in 2018 because uh. I just didn't want to do nothing else, and I didn't feel like I wanted to work for nobody, and I didn't want to go back to school. Well, not I'm talking about go back to school. I ain't never been to school. I didn't want to go exactly. to school. Yeah, um, yeah, you knew what you wanted to do, man. Yeah, you I knew what I wanted to do, and I exactly. and I and I'm one of the people. If I see, I don't want to seem like a follower or something, but if I see stuff working for other people, and you I know for it. sure yeah. I could do it, exactly. You know, I'm gonna go do it. So I seen a lot of other people making exactly. careers and making a lot of money off that shit, and I'm like, I know I'm just as good, if not better, than them. So you know, exactly. I went for yes. it. That's pretty much like what we're doing, bro. Honestly, like right. everybody wanted to be, you know what I'm saying? Everybody wants to start a YouTube. Everybody wants to do something. We've been talking about that shit forever, bro. But we kind of just started this shit about a year ago. So we really in the same boat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We just started our merch. We trying to network with everybody and just yeah, get everything got to. going. Yeah, Hell yeah, bro. Got to. That's the only way it's going to work. You got any, uh, any new projects coming up? Uh, Yeah, I got Checkmate supposed to drop next month. Um, end of August, probably won't. 
um, because with this Hey There song going pretty good, I I might push my album back and try to see what type of anticipation I can build up behind exactly, that for yeah, real. For sure, yeah, that's a good idea. Um, so you're calling the project Checkmate? Yeah, Checkmate. Cause so I, we we seen you were gonna call the other we were, you were gonna call the uh, the other one Checkmate, right? And then you ended up making that song. Yeah, right, yep. right, right, I heard right, you right, say right, that, bro. Sure. I ain't gonna lie. That's that's one of our favorite songs yeah. in the Checkmate. shop, bro. Yeah, yeah. That's one of our favorite songs in the shop. Yeah, man. Bro. Shout out to uh, a lot of baby, baby face, face and face payroll. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. So we listen to a lot of Ray, man. So. <laughs> and that new album, man. I ain't gonna lie. We be all, we been off your shit heavy. That uh, that I don't know. We be, that's some. Um, that's another thing, bro. That shit catchy, bro. Uh, uh God's favorite. Yeah, on God's favorite, yeah. Yeah, that's uh, they don't know. They don't know. Hey, that's that, shit. That's bro, my that's my favorite song I ever bro, made in life. Bro, that shit so goddamn catchy. We be running around here saying that shit all day. Like yeah. somebody will say something, I'll be like, I don't know. <laughs> I swear, bro, that shit be funny. Yeah, as that's that. my all time favorite song for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, that was like that was one of my first songs that was really like I'm really listening to this shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sure. I've been hearing about like you know what I'm saying. Been listening to your shit since uh since that old '80s and shit, bro. Yeah, I ain't for gonna sure. lies, but uh. But yeah, that new shit, bro. That shit go crazy. And like I said, it's so much different, bro. That shit is yeah. it's all different. It's I all think tough. So too. I like it. I saw with that album that uh that cover you went with like the two face aesthetic. Yeah, with the guy's favorite. That's the the the, the deluxe for the uh the two face aesthetic, but the original was I used like a baby picture of me with the eye fucked up. Oh yeah, I did see yeah. that too, yeah. I saw a, a bunch of your I saw that the the two face one, but mm -hmm. then all those ones on YouTube were censored. The whole was album it? was like censored, which I get. You got to do that for sure. Yeah, you but must yeah. have been on the wrong one. The other one for sure on there. Yeah. No, I saw the one with the. Uh, I found that's how I found. Oh, okay, the okay, other okay, one. okay. Yeah, know, yeah. I looked for it. But uh, do you fuck with like any any comics, Batman shit? Like. Um. Hell yeah, man! I'm a big fucking like Marvel fan and like DC fan. Like. Oh yeah. All of that shit, like that was like my childhood. So I like I'm a, a real big like Avenger fan and all that yep. type of shit. I go see all the movies, all that. I'm real big on the TV shows and movies and shit, so yeah, that's kind of my thing. I thought it was a good correlation. I thought it looked sick. And... Yeah, for sure. I fuck with Batman. I love Batman. Hell yeah. Yeah, that was sweet. And uh, we saw, too, like, you were you were plotting on a little documentary to put out about yeah, that album. Yeah, hell yeah. Yep. Um, not just about that album, but just in general. You're just, just a... kind of using the name over for that Yeah, I'm using the guy's favorite name for the documentary. Yeah. yeah sweet. And then I got a bunch of sweet-ass shit in there. I got... Like it's showing me get shot on in my documentary. It showed me like um, the police on the way to me and to take me to the hospital and shit. All of that is in there. Yeah, so it's a bunch of hard shit, man. Just from the incident, like leading all the way up until now. Like you might see footage of the Akron show tonight in there. It's just showing like the the yep. progress from when the incident and, happened know. to now type yep. shit. That's what yeah, yeah. Video guys here working on. Yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Well, so, no, I just got. I just got him just filming. I don't know. We, we don't know what it's going to be for. It's exactly. just, we just record. It's going to be used for something. Yeah, we lucky. We, uh, like I said, we just started our shit up. We we just got on the YouTube. So we've been, you know what I'm saying? We try to get all the content we can, bro. Yeah. Content, content, content. We just be doing whatever yeah. we can. With literally. that, them, sh them short, them YouTube shorts is the way to go with that yep. shit. That and putting money on the ads and exactly. shit. Exactly, yep. Even if it's some little shit, like yep, it, literally, like it like, I, like you said, bro, just bring the camera. Mm -hmm. You might you might record for twenty minutes. Use a ten second clip out of it. Yep. You know what I'm saying? It just that be... shit might reach ten million exactly. people. You never know. Exactly. Yep. Like how you was talking about them, um, them uh, the little snippets that I be doing, the yep. motivational speakers yep. type shit. Like exactly. <clears throat> I've had shit do like millions of views, and it yep. was just little simple shit. Exactly. I'm like, what the right. fuck? Yep. I'm sure you be no seeing. Idea. Yep. Pablo Skywalking all fucking bro, day off. Megan, man, yeah, hell that, yeah, that little that's funny what that shit. little snippet. Yeah. That's the YouTube Telling short you, hack right there. Exactly, yeah, that shit's dope, bro. That's definitely the new way, like just to, because like you said, bro. I mean, they gonna watch it. If mm. it's, it's either they gonna watch it, they ain't gonna watch it. Right. And that little shit is a lot better than long shit sometimes, For just because sure. it just, you know, what I'm saying, yeah. sending out. I agree. We saw. Uh, we were doing, you know, a bit of research, and uh, I figured it out, you know. But uh, we were kind of wondering, like, with your, your the LOM. But mm -hmm. well, we heard some dude on a podcast call you Lom. Yeah, Lom yeah, 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 yeah. They, they'd be fucking it up sometimes. Yeah. Do you just kind of roll with that, or is that like how to how like I'm sure that means a lot to you. Yeah, I, I usually correct it majority of the time, and then they just fix it. But yeah, I don't know. 
Maybe I should start putting the periods in between. I don't like how that shit looked, though. The thing with a lot of people, like, a lot of people, like, it'll be, like, TDE or right. something, like, yeah. that, like, doesn't make a something exactly. that you can say. So, it's sure. like they don't call them that, you know, right. so. But I feel like, yeah, I just was curious, because I know you capitalize it and everything. Yeah, and I just yeah. thought it was funny that that happened on the podcast, yeah. where he, like, he yeah. mentioned that to you. That shit happened a lot. But people that really like know and like really fuck with my music, they know how to. Exactly. It. I feel like you really gotta know. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? If you know, you know for sure. So what was it? Uh, what was it like growing up in Inkster? Um, fun. Grew, grew like grew up early. Grew up fast. Exactly. Um, taught me a lot. Friend wise, like financial wise, you know, I seen a lot of stuff and it just helped shape me into everything that I was doing or do as a person, as like just hustling in general. Did you, uh, as a father, all of that? Did you, uh, have a two parent household? No, I didn't know. Okay, okay. No, Where, just, you live with yeah, just parent? mom, just dad. Um, my, I lived with a bunch of different people. Okay. Um, Primarily my mom, but like uh, my grandparents, my aunt, my cousins. I've like lived the, yeah, for you. all over the place for real. Um, I don't know why I just never just really sat in one spot. But my daddy was in jail and stuff, so he, you know he wasn't around. But he is now. Um, yeah, I don't know why I was just all over the place like that. Yeah, like did you, you said, I mean, this shaped you to who you are. Yeah, so for sure. It was better did to be. you graduate or were you like Yeah, hustling? I graduated. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Did you like, were you hustling in high school? Yeah, hell really? yeah. Yeah, way recruiting. before high school. Yeah. Yeah. Way before high school. Making moves. You got to find your independence, especially when you have that. Yeah, in your definitely. Household, like... You ain't signed to nobody? Nope, not yet. I'm oh, yeah. independent right now. Mm hmm. I like that. Not yet, man. Mm hmm. But yeah, that's what's up. I know it's uh definitely got to feel good to be independent. I seen you post it on there. You got a buck fifty. You sitting on a buck fifty in merch, man. Yeah, so, hell yeah, man. That's shit, what I was yeah. over there or trying to organize that exactly. shit. Exactly. Hell yeah, bro. That's what's up, bro. That's what we working on, man. Just merch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I said, we giving away a uh, banshee. We giving away a four wheeler right now. So we figured that was like the best thing to really start and uh, yeah. promote our brand because a lot of people do it and they'll just be like. Give me some money, and then now you entered in the contest. But we figured, okay, if we sell shirts, you know what I'm saying? It's going to do real good promo. So, right. So that was definitely something we uh, jumped into right off the rip. Yeah, and that shit sure. like money in the bank, man. Like exactly. no matter how long it sits, that shit going to sell it's one day. Sell. Yep, I see all you all, sell. Yep. All, I mean, we all just plan to keep inclining and not declining. Exactly. So eventually somebody going to want that shit. Yep, that shit all going to go. Exactly. That's kind of how we're feeling. Like we... uh. We low key went crazy. Like our first shirts for the uh, giveaway, mm -hmm. we're only doing like we did three hundred because mm -hmm. there's three hundred spots to give away. Like for the Banshee giveaway, sell mm -hmm. three hundred shirts. But after that, we kind of just went crazy. We got some whole other shirts that really aren't Banshee involved now, so right. you could buy them. So uh, how much yeah. is the shirts? The uh, the Banshee ones are sixty dollars, and the regular shirts are thirty. And we got uh, we got hats for the uh, give for the Banshee right. giveaway too for sixty. Okay, so basically to enter to enter it, you got to buy a shirt. Yep. Exactly. And y'all ain't doing it until y'all sell all the shirts. Yep. So ba okay, yep. so basically y'all selling them with eighteen thousand that bitch go. Yep. Okay. Exactly. And Something honestly, like, like it's brand new. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We built that bitch from the ground up. So it uh yeah. It definitely was uh it was definitely a ticket to put that motherfucker yeah, together. Yeah, that's like a, it's a good marketing scheme exactly. and y'all make some money at the same time. Exactly. Yeah, that's what we uh that's really what we went for, bro. We was just like it's perfect cuz like the lane we in, everybody rides bikes. Everybody around here, like, that's the thing. You know what I'm saying? Riding right. dirt bikes and the four-wheeler, everybody wants one of them bitches. So yeah. win a brand new one for $60 is kind of like a win-win situation. Right. And then yeah. the average motherfucker going to exactly. buy way more than one yeah. ticket. Or you can get 5000 We give, we doing, we can give, get the four-wheeler or you can get 5000 cash. So, oh, okay, you know okay, okay, okay. Got you, got you, got yeah. you. So they got a choice for sure. So you said Checkmate's going to be the next thing coming up for you? Yeah, so outside like of, yeah, outside of that, the documentary. I'm supposed to be doing a um a project with the hip hop lab um with Lando. I ain't sure if that'll come before or after the documentary, but that's definitely something we've been in the talks about. You done? I saw you were uh you worked with that guy uh <coughs> it was All Star Jr. Right? Yep, hell yeah, yeah, yeah. Casino bag one and two. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So like uh you working on any big projects with other people that you're giving a lot of input on? Um, honestly, no. 
me and um Scooch talked about doing a project together, but outside of him, I I haven't really talked to nobody about doing another joint project. I kind of want to stick to doing like solo projects. I've been I did a lot of them yeah. joint projects. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. Yeah. I just feel like you. I like I feel like you pick really good features, and then like you you flow really well with a lot of the people that you end up yeah. being on songs with. So yeah, I really like that. But I figured I just didn't know if maybe you had a something that you were chipping away at with somebody else. No, I'm not saying man. That that, that just came came about, man, and that just really catapulted everything that I was already doing. That shit just helped me a lot. And JR kind of uh, approached me with that. And, you know, he already got a, a situation going on. So him doing that helped me a lot get to the shit that I'm doing today, for real. Hell yeah, I've been seeing a lot of uh, a lot of shit you've been dropping with him. Y'all yeah. been going crazy, for sure. Yeah. Hell yeah. We, we going to have to get him on here, man. We gonna, he going to... He, he always sure. in Akron. He definitely is a, a stop by y'all, pop at him. Or if yeah, he yeah. his DM probably be banging. Or if he don't if he don't re- respond back, mm-hmm. just let me know and I yeah, I got you. Call or sure. text him or something. Yeah, that'll be dope for sure, bro. We gotta go set that up. I saw you've been through through a lot of injuries uh-huh. in your lifetime. Uh, one thing besides you know just the situations of what happened, I saw like you had to go through like rehab, learning to walk again. Yeah. Did that take a toll on you mentally when you were dealing with that? No, not really. It wasn't. It, it wasn't like super hard. I know I wasn't like paralyzed or nothing. And I know, like the human body the, is crazy, like the way that it heals itself. So, so you were able to get over it throughout the day, though. With, like, yeah, hell yeah. To... Eventually, you know, I, at first when it, my first incident happened, um, I couldn't talk. I had like trachea in, in my throat, like so. Just not being able to walk, <clears throat> that just was one of the things that was, was that the, fucked up. Was that the Texas situation? Yeah, hell yeah, that was a Texas yeah. situation. Yeah, we uh, <clears throat> we watched a couple interviews. You was talking about that. I, I actually think you talked about that on the hip hop, the hip hop lab. Right? Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. probably so. Yep. Lando be jumping on that shit quick. Exactly. Yeah. 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 I just I uh. I was, do you think that was like uh, one of the hardest things that you ever went through with rehabilitating, or uh, like you said? I mean, obviously you've been through it with your like your face getting hit, <coughs> and you said your neck had problems, man. Like, yeah, I mean, it's hard to say, man. All that shit be fucked up, but the yeah. the thing that probably bothered me the most is like the nerve damage in my mm-hmm. left side of my body. That shit hurt more than my eye, my mouth, my anything. This. That shit is just irritating all day. It just feel like my foot numb. Itching. My mouth be like I talk with like a lisp now, so it's be hard. Like if I'm performing or something, I like lose breath quick. Yep. Type shit. So. Do you think that's changed your flow or like? Yeah, how you hell sound? yeah. Like I don't know if people can hear it in the music or not, but I'm kind of getting better at it. You probably can't tell, but that should be bothering me like a motherfucker. Like as I'm talking now, my whole tongue is just outside the right side of my mouth like it just feel weird as hell yeah that's fucked up bro i heard uh you said you was walking out at a club or something when that happened yeah, they tried to rob you for your watch walking out of seaside yeah man that's some bullshit man you said you probably uh you probably move a lot different after that huh you probably yeah. don't be hell yeah i don't, don't be know, yeah don't i used to think clubs, like probably. i ain't i'm not at home like it, i'm out of town these exactly. people don't know me here exactly i right. never think that shit again that's what i was saying i heard about that shit i'm like bro that shit's weird i'm like but like you said i don't know like you kind of explained it and you was like uh a lot of this shit like probably people probably look at you and think that you was maybe a bad person, but you said all this shit came from people trying to get at you. Hell like, yeah. Exactly. Like, like, what I'm supposed to do. Right, exactly. Simple as that, bro. That shit, that shit be weird. And that's how it got to be, though, bro. I'm telling you, everybody just, they be hating. Yeah, everybody definitely. Be hating. They just be hating, man. You got anything else going on in town, or are you just stopping in for the show? Uh, Just for the show, for real. But if, <clears throat> I mean... I'm here as long as they need me to be here. I wanted to come and do some features and shit before the show. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get to all of that tonight, but if not, shit, I I stay and knock it out in the morning. Then we, if I need to. What you charging right now for a feature for anybody that's you know what I'm saying? Uh, if anybody it, reaches out to us, even just right now, because you know what I'm saying we know everybody around here. I mean, so. I used to be charging motherfuckers like fifteen hundred, two thousand, but okay. like while I was walking up here, somebody just asked me how much I was doing the feature for, and I'm like, shit, 
I do it for a thousand because I'm yeah. already out here. Exactly. Yeah. So we five gonna... motherfuckers might yeah. want to pay a, exactly, might have a thousand dollars in their pocket opposed to me telling somebody mm -hmm. two thousand and everybody ain't got it. Might yeah, as well we gonna, go. We gonna put the word out for yeah. sure. Yeah. Exactly. No, we gonna uh, we definitely gonna ask around for sure. We gonna ask everybody we know. Hell yeah, man! I'm knocking bitches out for a thousand while Hell I'm yeah. here, and yeah. I'm gonna do it so fast. Right. That shit gonna take me 10, 15 yep. minutes, and it's gonna be so hard. Yep. Hell yeah, y'all heard it, man. I'm telling you, we go, uh, we go post it on our SOS page and shit. We okay. Go, everybody go see it for sure. Yep, bet. Just let me know. Yep, we got you. I heard, uh, I saw something about you. You used to play ball for money, a little bit. Uh, not really. It's probably shoot jumpers. I really ain't like no athletic basketball person. Like I, I played basketball in ninth grade and I wasn't that good. And I just said, fuck that shit. Yeah, we we uh we watched that walk a mile. That shit was <laughs> yeah. Dope. Yeah, y'all uh, was up that at the shit, park That shit, I was looking shit. at that yesterday on YouTube. That shit down there had 100,000 views. I love yeah. that style of documentary, just because yeah. you get the, the little bit of insight. And obviously, you know, they're they're only showing a little bit, but yeah. it's still just better. Like, obviously, we're here in a little studio set up, yeah. just filming a little interview. But I love getting that feel where it's like you get the, the little vibe of where somebody's from. Right, right, right. For sure. Yeah, they really get to see it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's called Walk a Mile, so... Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah, that what I was, was telling dope. my little videographer. We was talking about how we wanted to do um, everything that he's doing today. And I'm just like, we just going to do a vlog just to show, like, from the start of us on our way here from yep. to when we get home, like, show everything so they can see. Yeah, Motherfuckers yeah. want to see, like, what you do on exactly. a day-to-day -day basis. Yep. Yep. <coughs> yeah, we be doing all kind of crazy-ass shit, too. That's what every time I always say that shit, I, uh, before we do anything, because Marty the cameraman, I ain't going to lie, he the yeah. cameraman right there, so... Okay. Before we do anything, we like we gotta grab a camera. We just gonna, you for know sure. what I'm saying? Because you can use Run it for it. something one day. It ain't no telling. It's just gonna pop in your head like, oh exactly. shit, we got that clip from yep. X, Y, and Z. Uh huh. Yep. Yeah, it's very convenient now that we have a little archive and memory stuff too. Yeah. It's like there's a point where you're like thinking all the stuff you want to do. Mm -hmm. It's like I'm gonna make all this stuff happen and I'm gonna you know be able to yeah. create this from it and then it's like. One day you're gonna end up, you end up being able to look back at all the stuff you've done. It's right, like, for sure. Even if you've used it already, you can reuse it. And yeah. Capitalize off of what it's already done for you. Definitely. Speaking of capitalizing, we've seen you. You definitely, like you said in one of your interviews, you capitalized off getting shot. Really, like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it kinda, hell yeah. Like you said, it made you who you were. So I think that shit's dope, bro. And like. Yeah, I just believe in like making money. So. It, it, the yep. worst situation that Got to the turn first to the thing bed. that I think yep. about is how can we make some money off this? Yep. Like, exactly. There don't give a fuck what happened. Like, yep. how can we make some money off this? Yep. No matter what. Hell yeah. I just want to double check this camera because I'm self conscious about it. Okay. So you, uh, would you say that that Hey There song has gone viral like in a different way than a lot of music? <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely. I've never, I've had stuff do like big numbers before. Like I've had, uh, the Day on No video and my life and all Checkmate would be way more like number wise than Hey There. But I'm starting to get people that never knew who I was exactly. tap in, and I be. I, I would prefer that opposed right. to people that's already hip to my music listening to it I want right, the yeah, new you're a new crowd that's yeah. a social crowd, media yeah. buzz yeah uh -huh. definitely that's what I want people that don't know me at all to find out about me because you I want TikTok? You use TikTok yeah hell yeah I use TikTok Twitter Instagram I'm sure people all of that. are going crazy on TikTok with that right uh -huh. yeah, not yet it ain't, uh -huh. it ain't started okay. yet but I plan on doing the challenge for it so I'm about to be promoting this one for like damn near a year straight y'all gonna be like damn yeah, he's still real. Hell yeah. yeah. I feel like Hell that yeah. I feel like that one got the potential to really be something. For sure. And I've never really had a song that I really felt like this about. Yeah, that's what I, we said. That shit's super I was super actually dope. curious if like do you think you have anything else on on this new album that'll hit like that or it's like obviously your intentions are to make the best music that you can. So yeah, like, definitely to make the best music and it's hard for me to say because the stuff that I be thinking the hardest people don't be liking that stuff. People be thinking the stuff hard that I be like that shit not that good. Like it's uh so it's I can't really say because it's it's really not my choice at the end of the day. 
the other is is it like were you necessarily trying to be that hard with like the like obviously you're presenting that as like an artist and stuff but mm-hmm. like that i feel like that's got to be like you know you really like the melody of the song and stuff but yeah. you said a lot of hilarious stuff so yeah. obviously you're trying to yeah definitely it's just like it's just the vibe that i be going that i be going with as far as like when i'm creating and all of the instances that I'm talking about was like real situations, so it's kind of easy for me to talk about it. Right. And I, I just that definitely makes it even funnier. Yeah, sure. just switch the name up so nobody calling me, getting on my nerves, yeah. talking about why am I telling their business or something. <laughs> I just switch the names of yeah. the situations. <clears throat> I'm really glad we got to catch you in town right after that. Yeah, hell like yeah, it was a good crossover for us to have for sure. Right on time. Yeah, like I said, it was crazy because one of your songs was playing. And I was like, we got to get Rudy on the pod. And uh, bro was like, fuck it, I'm going to DM him. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, we seen on your shit, he was coming to Akron. So we was like, cool, that worked perfect. Hell sure yeah. Was perfect. Yeah, it was definitely meant to be for sure, bro. We you get uh, to come early, kill some time before I got to go to the club. I don't even I don't even like being in the club. So yeah, exactly. <laughs> the less time I got to be in there is, is perfect the better. for me. Yeah, exactly. Are you like, like uh, you just not acclimated to doing shows yet or what do you think you um fan this general? only my second show ever to, like ever i, I did a show in milwaukee and then i'm doing this like so i'm re- i'm still like learning and adjusting getting like crowd control and stage presence i don't know how to do none exactly. of that shit i'm, I'm yeah. just winging it we yep. just going yep. for what we know i'm gonna have yep. you out every weekend here soon i'll be down here every weekend <laughs> yep. Real. Not out here in Akron. I'm just saying. You know, oh yeah. About, you're gonna be doing something. Yeah, for sure. By that, by that's that's what I need so I can get some practice in and yep. get developed. And yep. you know, it's all about just doing it. Be sure. perfect in a, in a second. Mm-hmm. That's kind of how we just working on this podcast shit. Cause like I said, we knew with this shit too, but we definitely working. We jumping into yeah, it. Definitely got yep. to man. That's yep. you might get discouraged at times. You got to keep on doing this shit. That's yeah. the only way it's gonna work. I think you got a good, you got a good vibe, good personality. Obviously, you got some good songs and stuff, so... Yeah, hell think, yeah, man. I think it'll it'll be going. Yeah, we, uh... You hip to the weed bar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jack Putnam? Yeah, we, uh... That was actually our first, uh... Our first podcast ever. We did with, uh, Jack Pot and Jay Will. Yeah, okay. He was in here, yeah, we, uh... He asked me... He asked me who all we had on. Okay, okay. I, I yeah. haven't been seeing them do the weed bar, uh, lately. Are they still doing it? They, uh, they do, like, little pop-ups a lot, for okay. sure. They definitely do, uh, big pop-ups. And <laughs> yeah, because I... They I, just did one in Cleveland, uh, a couple weeks ago. I was supposed to be on the, uh, on a new season. Yep. But I, I didn't know if they started this yet. Yep. Yeah, that shit was dope. We, uh... Now, like I said, that was our first podcast, so that shit was huge. That shit yeah. was dope okay. for sure. Yeah, uh, y'all get a lot of support from people out here in Akron and shit. Uh huh. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they all fuck. You already us. said it's kind of a small town, yeah. so like we kind of, you know, there's a lot of different bubbles, but this area especially, there's not a lot of people doing a ton of stuff, so uh-huh. we're kind of trying to make it make it seem like it's popping over here because there's a lot of people yeah. over on the west side for real that are like doing. Bunch of shit, a bunch of brands, right? Different rappers, and okay. People making media stuff, yeah. So, but recently we've been networking with a lot of people in the city. I feel like I feel like now we're pretty tapped in. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, damn near everybody heard of us. You know what I'm saying? If you're doing something in the city, you you pretty much heard of us. <coughs> been to the shop. We had a uh, we had baby money in here, baby face e. We had a baby money video shoot here. Okay, and uh, there was a bunch of people here from the city. You know what I'm saying? It yeah. was a uh, it was dope. It was super dope. Okay. So it was like a, uh, it was damn near a party that day. Do y'all, you know do Akron saying? have like any like local artists that's like popping the shit like rap wise? Um, I wouldn't say like, uh, nothing too crazy, but it's a lot of people like, it's a lot of, uh, shit from like back in the day, but I don't want to like, I don't want to miss nobody's names, right. but honestly, yeah, like, dude from Akron here, like dude that had baby money here for a feature was from Akron. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, yep. so we got some stuff going on, but it's like, some people might see their stuff and not even really realize they're from Akron unless they catch the reference or exactly. something like that right, in the right, song. Right. Okay. Uh, but a lot of people probably know. It just depends what you would define it as. But when you look at, compared to, like, Michigan, where you got, like, Detroit and then Flint, and then it's, like, even, you know, you're from Inkster, and there's, mm-hmm. a, well, there's other people from Inkster, you know, that right. are making moves. So it's, like, people don't, like, I would you say you ever hear people out in Michigan talking about Akron and the subsidiaries of Akron and stuff nah, like that? No, not really. Yeah, right. so exactly. it's like we're not quite there yet, but 
that for us, you know, we're a little closer to it and we see what's going on. It's like, mm. even with us, we've, we've been able to have people come through and do shit. And yeah. obviously people are coming here to do work and check in and work with other people out here. So like a lot of people, a lot of people like that, uh, like promoters around the city, like when uh baby money came through, like obviously all the promoters were here, yeah. everybody for the video, like everybody, I feel like everybody's name in the city, uh, shout out to Eli Bam, man. He, uh, He's somebody who's doing his thing in the city for sure. He uh, okay. on the music side, but like I said, he does a lot of promotion and stuff too. So uh, I'm gonna give my shout out right here. My favorite West Side rapper is Jug Knight. Jug yeah. Knight, okay. he's really yeah. funny. I okay. think he's hilarious, and he's all into cars and shit too. Yeah. So I like all his shit. Uh, you know, there's plenty of other people. Uh, there's a uh, Rob Bruce too. He's a really good videographer. Okay. You know, he probably I would say does the most as a actor, <coughs> music video worker yeah. right now. But yeah, I would I'd like to say you know stuff's going on here, but like I said, you know it's not like people are are out out in Michigan talking about Akron, but obviously the flow is going bigger. Yeah. So maybe in some other cities they're they're talking about what's going on here. But hopefully one day, you know, yeah. I feel like we got stuff bubbling up here. We've been working with a lot of Michigan artists too. We've had a lot of Michigan artists come through and get on the pod and stuff. So yeah, uh, we so close to y'all. I feel like it's gonna be easy for exactly. y'all just reach out to people whenever yeah. y'all see somebody coming to town. Exactly. Yep. That That's whole pretty shit much. We were talking to with the legalization, you know, I feel like there's a wave coming here too with all yeah. that because with the Midwest and there's other states around that don't have legalization. You right. Know, it's like Michigan became a really big hub. Yeah, for sure. That's kind of like what we was talking about with Jay Will and them. You know what I'm saying? Asking them like what we can expect because the day we had them here was the day that we uh, became legal. So mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? We pretty much damn near had a weed party. So right. Okay. When we uh. We kind of ask them a lot of questions, like see what we can expect, because you know what I'm saying. It's been legal up there for a while, so we just want to see what we can expect. And honestly, I mean, you know, a lot of people like from around here. <clears throat> if you in Ohio, a lot of people be like, "Oh, I'm going up to Michigan," you know what I'm saying, to yeah. get my weed. You know what I'm saying. So we was like thinking, like, it's gonna be the next, the next state over. Gonna be like, "Oh, I'm coming up to Ohio to get my shit." You know what I'm saying. So, so y'all haven't started popping up dispensaries yet. They, there is, there we is. Just got. A it just became an article of like one of the first dispensaries in Akron that got their shit yeah. approved. So, do do LeBron got anything to do with that? Uh, I can I, see him tapping into the weed market, know. like so, putting a hundred fucking dispensaries I feel around. Like his we would have heard LeBron's name exactly. If he was yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that for could sure. Definitely happened, but the thing like there's a lot of they already had like a big hold for people to apply <laughs> and stuff like that. Right. So. I'm sure it'll be like a slow burn, but as soon as it's going, uh, I've heard stuff too where they're like, <coughs> they'll approve people and then people come in and inspect and shut the place down and they yeah. gotta do this other stuff. So I'm sure there's gonna be some growing pains. So we're not quite there yet. You got it's only been about six or seven months. So. Okay, yeah, that ain't long. But y'all can expect to, they're gonna be popping them bitches up like McDonald's in oh, a yeah. minute. <clears throat> for sure. Yeah, they everywhere in Michigan for sure. Everywhere. Yeah, on every billboard, everywhere, like literally. Yeah, I mean, people are already going crazy with this Delta 8 stuff. People are just, just call it Delta 8. Yeah. Put it on yep. the shelf, you know? <laughs> do you do any, any like, weed-related business? Um, Not business yet, but I'm trying to get um some of my packs in this, into some dispensaries. Exactly. Um, that's what I'm looking forward to doing, like, any, like, brand deals or... Um, you try to do your own shit. Yeah, I do my own shit, and I'm willing to partner with somebody and try to be, like, the... Um, like the face of it, what you call it, uh, like brand ambassador type yeah, of thing. Yeah. I would like to do that, like get a percentage or make some money off, whatever. I'm I'm with all that shit. You done any like promos with any brands or anything? No, nope, not yet. Shit? Mm -mm. Yeah, we definitely got to get you in on something, man. Yeah, I always get the fake uh the fake pages be trying to write me to do promo for them, but you know they fake because they tell you to post it first and then they're gonna pay you afterward oh, right those type of pages yeah. <laughs> going i ain't had shit. nobody re no real people reach out to me yet i'm gonna double check this camera <laughs>
that's all like you you talked a bit about like uh how getting shot kind of affected your growth and stuff like that Mm -hmm. like uh what do you think like do you think that's a little weird that that happens or do you try to just make the most of it or um stop the growth as far as what uh no it's uh or it helped the growth oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah, i I, I don't know if i said stop but i meant to say it helped with your growth yeah definitely hell yeah it it was one of the best and worst things that ever happened to me yeah Mm -hmm. do you ever have mixed feelings like damn like it's like, a, it sucks that that had to, like, not had to happen, but you know, it's like, that's what led to you yeah. kind of getting more notoriety and stuff. Yeah, definitely, and it's fucked up, because, you yeah. know, you got to go through something traumatic like that for people <laughs> to notice you and support you and, and get behind what you're doing, but, you know, I believe in everything happened for a reason, and, you know, it is what it is. I yeah. just learned to, to cope with it. Did that, uh like, I don't know, a lot of people have, like, different kind of anxieties and shit, but, like, did that give you... Did you have anxiety before anything like that happened? Did it give um, you anxiety or? Yeah, I kind of had a little bit of anxiety, but I, I feel like it's way worse mm-hmm. now. Yeah. Like, uh, I don't even like being around people, especially like large crowds yep. of people I don't know. Yeah, that's what like when them YouTube shorts, they, uh, I seen you talking about on there. You know what I'm saying? You just got to, you got to go do it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I just seen like, like you said, you went through the worst shit, but you're turning into the most. And I yeah. feel like a lot of people, if they went through something like that, like you said, they wouldn't really want to do much. But like right. you said, you out here doing your thing, turning that shit. Yeah, into I something feel like good, I already bro. been through the <clears throat> the worst of the worst exactly. already. So right. everything else is exactly simple, easy. Yep. I know I can get through it exactly. if I got through that yeah. shit. If yep. not, too, like what are you trying to hope for? You know, it's right? Like, it's for not sure. like you're trying to expect the worst or something like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Even if it don't go as good as possible, don't go as good as I wanted to. I already know the worst has already happened, so yep. it's it's nothing can happen for real. Yep. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, we had you know some big crowds roll up to some people and shit, but mm-hmm. your your security guy he he rolled in tough, man. Yeah. Hell <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've been I didn't been out of town and been popped the fuck up before, so exactly. they you know just. Like, I got one job. My job is to come here and, like, entertain and be myself and, you know, and, and, and show people what they want to see. And I feel like everybody else's job, outside of the cameraman, make sure we get home safe. That's it. Exactly. That's the only That's the only thing I need them to do. I'm going to handle everything else. Yep. Yeah, all the other, like, most of the other podcasts we had here, we had, like, a lot of people here. It was kind of like, like I said, the one was a music video, so it was a lot of shit going on. But uh, we kept it cool for this one, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just a couple of us here, good vibes, you know what I'm saying? We was just chilling. The people like, that y'all uh, had did had come and interviewed already, like rapper wise, other than um J. Will and Jackpot, like they had like big ass entourages of people yep. with them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, it was yeah, it was like, a, it was I don't a like lot having of people, people around me. Yep. Yeah, that's why uh I figured it'd been cool just having a couple of us here, you know what I'm saying? No uh-huh. big deal. We had a bunch of dope ass cars out. We had all kinds yeah. of shit going they on. They weren't like too big with their crowd, but like the one day it was like three <laughs> three rappers, you know, hanging out together. So yeah. all their crowds were Yeah, I understand that. <laughs> yeah, I understand that. Exactly. But yeah, the, it's uh, you know, I'm sure a lot of people like their tranquility and make sure there was some people that they're not gonna get irritated by. For sure. You ready for? You think you're gonna catch a book soon for like a tour or anything? Would you Would you check something like that out? A book, like get booked for a tour? Yeah, hell yeah! I was just talking to um, my homeboys about that. Uh, and if I don't get booked for one, I'm gonna do my own, like some Midwest shit, like Ohio, Milwaukee, Louisville. Throw some other artists on there. Saginaw type shit, if possible. If not, my myself, I'm gonna try to get some other artists on there, but you know. I'm not going to stop everything you know, and hold off because yeah. I can't find people or something. Like, yeah, I feel I'm like just curious, you know, who might, who you might want to bring yeah. on there or something, you know? Yeah. But that would be, that would be really awesome to check out. Even, I would even be open to, to go on tour with some like bigger artists, like, yeah. you know, and I'd just be, i open up or something. I ain't yep. opposed to that. i do that, you know, start off somewhere. How long have, uh, how long have you been doing music? Like the latest I saw for your stuff was like four ish years. Four ish years. I got Three shit from like two thousand twelve was like the first year. But I never I didn't like start taking the series until I got out of uh prison in two thousand eighteen. You were pretty young in two thousand twelve? Yeah, hell yeah. I was yeah, yep, I wasn't even twenty one yet. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Did you like 
that uh, you said, you know, coming out of jail kind of motivated you to jump in? Yeah, hell yeah, it did. Were you, like, thinking about that a lot when you were in there? <coughs> um, that's pretty much all I thought about, for real. Um, that in real estate. Yeah, we seen you say you had 10 houses. That's crazy. Yep, 11. That's crazy. I had hell 11 yeah. houses. Yeah, on is that. This, uh, is this, like, 10 houses they, like... You like bouncing to like go chill at one or no? They was all like around, like chips rented and occupied or getting work worked on. Yeah, um, yeah. I don't have none now. You still you plan to get into uh get back into shit like yeah, that? Yeah, hell yeah, yep. yeah. That's one of my first moves that I feel like I'm gonna do is get hell back yeah. into real estate. Yeah, you got to for sure. Yeah, you got any? You got anybody you wanna? Show love to or shout out before we get out of here. Anything you want to shout out for yourself? Yeah, man. Definitely shout out to the whole city of Detroit. Everybody putting on, doing what they're supposed to do, man. And, you know, I feel like if we keep on helping each other, pushing each other, supporting each other, we'll be like another mecca like Atlanta, California, New York. Like how they are. I feel like if we stay on the path that we own, we'll get to that point. So shout out to all the artists for real, man. Nobody's um, specifically keep doing what y'all doing. We love to see it. Keep going. Don't quit. Fuck with anybody else saying, thinking, talking about, and just do your thing. Yep. And shout I out to it. the SOS Podcast. Yes, sir. Go yeah, subscribe. We, yeah, follow yeah. them. Go to their website, someothershit.com. Mm-hmm. You know, and I appreciate y'all for having me. We're going to have to get a collab in soon, bro, for yeah, sure. Yeah, definitely. a little SOS uh, NBC, is it, right? For sure. Yeah, yeah we're yeah. going to get a little collab in for sure. We're going to do some dope shit. We appreciate you. Uh, we appreciate you stopping by, man. We uh, we was excited to have you, man. We appreciate you, and uh, that shit was dope, man. All right, thank you, sure. man. Appreciate yeah, y'all. Thanks again, man. Yes, nice sir. You. Nice yep. to meet you too, bro. Sir, sure. appreciate y'all. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. What? Okay. Can you hear me? It's scam like we high as hell on some other shit. I'm rapping on West Beats. I make my brother rich. I got a super bad bitch. That's who I'm coming.